Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop, your free weekly podcast in high definition all about Adobe Photoshop. Today, we're going to take a look at an overlooked panel, which is the Navigator panel. This makes it really easy to keep a global view of your image, as well as zoom in on particular details. Let's see how you can use this tool to your advantage. Let me go ahead and choose Window, Navigator. And the new panel pops up on the side here. Notice it uses a little ship icon indicating Navigator. I'm sure someone found that funny. I don't, but it helps you if you actually could remember things with an icon that you use the ship's steering wheel to navigate. Or you could just drag that off and leave it as an open window if that helps. We'll go ahead and dock that panel back in there. And we have this panel right here. That seems fine. And let's go ahead and work with this. As we make changes in the image, we can adjust our zoom level. Right now, this image is at 50% magnification, which is fitting all the pixels on the screen. If I go ahead and check my image size, Command Option I or Control Alt I, I see that this image is about 3,000 pixels across. Well, my computer monitor is currently set to about 1,900 pixels across, which means that we couldn't see everything on the screen if this image were at 100% magnification. So by setting it to a 50% magnification, we're seeing every other pixel in the image, but it looks like we're looking at the whole photo. Sometimes, though, you're going to need to zoom in when you want to touch up details on the picture or look at individual details within the photo. Let's see that. I'll go ahead and click Cancel here for the image size, and we could type in a new value, like 100%, to view the image at 100%. When we do that, you'll see that only part of the photo is visible on screen, and that's what's indicated here by this red box. Everything inside the red box is visible. You can also drag the red box to take a look at particular parts of the image. So if you needed to fix something up, you could. For example, I could grab the spot healing brush here and just gently brush over this little blemish on the skin and it would fix it. And that was easier because we were zoomed in and we could see it. Now let's go ahead and choose undo real quick and mention one other thing. When using those brush tools, you want to make sure you have a nice soft brush. So tweak the hardness setting to a much lower value and you'll get more believable results that gently blend in. And that looks good. Let's go ahead and zoom into 200% here, and we could do that by simply dragging the slider, and it's about 200%, and I want to look at this area here on his jacket. Notice it was a windy day and we had a little bit of a thread blow over. Well, this is an excellent chance, so we'll just zoom in here so we can easily see it and adjust our navigator. Let's go ahead and click on the clone stamp tool and then option click to set a source point. Same sort of thing, you want a nice soft brush and we'll make it a little bit bigger. Now if you're using Photoshop CS4, you'll notice you get a really cool preview and it shows you exactly what it's going to look like before you click. That looks nice and aligned, so I'm going to go ahead and click there and then drag over that individual thread to remove it. And notice we can just clone that out from the scene. That worked really well, and I could go ahead and clone it from the sweater here if we want. We'll just do that really quick. Option click, align it, and then just drag across the sweater texture there, and notice how we take that out. It's really simple. Now, it was a lot easier to see those details because we used the navigator to zoom in on just that part of the image. And that's really how the navigator panel comes into play. You can always see the overall thumbnail of your image within the navigator, and you could drag to make that bigger if you need to. But what's really nice is you can quickly pan around the image so we can check other areas by simply dragging and looking at different parts of the photo. If you want to fit everything in the image, you can go ahead and click here and actually pull out. That works great. Or zoom in and set increments. And of course, you can always drag the zoom slider manually until you get the magnification you want. If you need to reposition the image within the Photoshop interface, just hold down the space bar and you could drag the photo where you want within the viewer area here. So the navigator is tremendously useful. Being able to get at just the pixels you need to fix is important. 
and the Navigator speeds that process up. I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. I'm your host, Rich Harrington. Be sure to join us next week when we actually take a look at how to import images from a camera memory card using Adobe Bridge. This is a brand new feature in Photoshop and it's going to speed up your image management and acquisition. And of course, if you want to learn new things, don't forget to check out our blog at rastervector.com. Ton of tutorials, industry news, and free things you could download. Speaking of free things, if you've picked up the book Understanding Adobe Photoshop CS4 from Peach Pit Press, be sure to download the lesson files that come with this podcast. This will let you get hands-on and use the same images that we use in the show. Thanks to Peach Pit Press for sponsoring that. If you don't have the book yet, take a look at it. You can find it over at peachpit.com and you can use the discount code UAP2 to get 35% off. Thanks again for joining us.